What's up guys, this is RG LEGO Productions, and we have a review. This is our first review in quite a while. I mean, I don't remember what the last review was. Remember what the last review was? Um, uh, last hit was the Venomari Shrine, but nothing else. No, we, we had the, uh, the review of, um, uh, Gene Ocean Cannon. That was a long time ago. Whenever you first got that set. Yeah. But anyway, this is a new set. This is a Marvel Avengers set. And if you have not seen that movie, go watch it and then come back and watch this because you might get some spoilers in this. But by now, I think if you're a comic book fan, you've probably already seen that movie. So it is a really beast movie if you're wondering. So we're talking about the set here. We have Loki's Cosmic Cube Escape. Comes with three minifigures. It's ages 6 to 12, number 6, 8, 6, 7. Uh, 181 pieces, and it comes with three pretty good minifigures. One astoundingly good, one pretty good, and yeah, another one that's pretty good. So in this, you get a comic book, number two. Why does it say that? Oh, wrong side. Number two. And then in here, it's just, you can pause it if you want to read it, but this is advertising sets. Then here we have Captain America's Avenging Cycle little comic, so. And then more of that, so. We have another little comic here of the actual set. And once again, pause it if you want to read it. Which, I mean, it's not really that great. It's definitely not realistic to the movie. And then some Lego Club crap. Hulk running away with the Lego logo. And there's the back. So that was your crappy comic of the day. Um, here's the set right here. So without further ado, let's go on with the minifigures. So here is our first very good minifigure. He is Loki, the main antagonist in the movie Avengers. And as you can see, he's got the green cape here and the very large helmet piece. And take that off. It's kind of a squishy plastic here. More rubber than plastic, I would think. But it would have been nice if you could get some hair with Loki, but you don't. Uh, he has the, also the Cosmic Cube or the Tesseract, which is just a one by one brick in clear, which I think it would have been better if it was in um, a color more like this trans color right here. So if you have one of those, that would probably be a better choice for the Tesseract. Then also the last thing he's holding is this staff. I cannot remember what it's called. Can you remember what it's called? Mm. Skepter, that's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, Skepter, Skepter. So he has this staff here, and it's a very nice staff. It's two pieces. First piece is this thing. Which I believe we saw in the Pharaoh's Quest set before. And then this is a golden dagger, which is found in a few sets. Pharaoh's Quest and then Jago. And you basically just stick it in the top there, and it makes a very nice staff piece. But, on the minifigure itself, it has the same head as Lex Luthor. If you have that set, which I do not. But, it's got some nice battle armor markings here. And the green cape, obviously. Let me take that off of him. So that, actually, I'll just slide it around. There's no back printing, so that was kind of a waste of my time, but the only complaint I have about this figure is that you don't get hair, and I think this might have been a little too much. I think it's a little too tall, but other than that, there's Loki. And here's our second minifigure, and our first Avenger in this set, Hawkeye. And in this set, Hawkeye is still under Loki's control. If you're wondering why he's driving the car for Loki, which we will get to, spoiler alerts ahead, uh... Here, this is a really good figure, um, here is his compound bow, which is very nice. You can shoot, like, tons of different arrows. Yeah, the thing with that in this minifigure is that it doesn't come with the quiver, as you can see. The quiver is printed on, but in the Hulk's Helicarrier, uh, version of Hawkeye, he does have the quiver, so that's kind of confusing to me why they didn't yeah. just include it or not include it, but there's the very nice compound bow. And then the actual figure itself, he has this headpiece, which I think might have been a little of the wrong color, but hey, it's alright. Uh, you have a little bit of padding here, and um, you have the quiver, which is printed on, as I said earlier. And he has one black glove to hold the crossbow here. 
And then as you can see on this front, it's got some very good printing. Get the camera to focus in. And he's got leg printing there, some belt buckles and stuff, but he also has a two-sided head. If you don't want him to have his glasses, then you can just, you know, take off his head and switch him around. Switch it around and then you have this head right here. But she just doesn't like his head. It's kind of a angry face. I really like I like the other head better. Because in the movie, I think he was probably, I think he was wearing shades while he was fighting, so. There's his other head, but there's Hawkeye. And here's our last and final minifigure of the set, Iron Man. And I think he's really a big draw to get the set, is just to get your own Iron Man, because Lego obviously has never made an Iron Man, a Hawkeye, or a Loki, but Loki you can get in three other set, Three other sets? No, two other sets. Hulk, Telecarrier, and the Quinjet. This is obviously the least expensive way to get Loki Hawkeye and Iron Man, so if you're looking for a way to get a few Avengers from the movie and a pretty nice truck, then you could definitely go this set's way. But that's more talking in the conclusion. Let's get on to Iron Man. Iron Man comes with these uh, trans blue, as I was saying, would make a good cosmic cube color, but he comes with his throttle color, which might have been a reason why they didn't use it as the cosmic cube. I don't know. But... Let's take that off of him. He gets the just the one by one studs for his hands and the actual cylinders for his legs. But this is his Mach 6 armor, I think. Yeah, the triangle armor here. He uses it in the start of the movie because the scene that this set takes place in is at the start of the movie. But actual pr printing itself, you can see he's got some really nice leg printing there. And then his, whatever that thing is called, is triangular and it's white. And then let's try to get you a better view of this helmet here. Get you right in there. Darn. See, you get it and then you just drop it. That's just kind of day I'm having night today. But it is a really cool. It flips up and it has some nice white eye printing. And if you want to see Tony Stark's face, you just flip it up. And then on the back, he's got some back printing there to go with his really nice front printing and here's Tony Stark's first face he has two that's his just calm face and then his angry face so yeah those are the minifigures onto the set here is the set this is a shield truck that was driven by Hawkeye while he was under the control of Loki in the, like you know the opening scenes of the movie when the intensity is just starting to come up and Loki just now comes into Earth, and it's a very nice truck. It looks very, like, off-terrain, kind of. It's got a lot of armor on it and stuff. The truck from the movie that I remember didn't have as... It wasn't as dark blue, it was more black. And it didn't have as much shield markings, but this is a very nice truck because I don't think LEGO would want to just release, like, a black truck, you know, with one shield marking. It'd be kind of unoriginal. But here on the front, you have the grill. This thing kind of gives a little movement. But it's not really meant to move, it's just held on by a clip, which we can pop it back on. And on this side, it's the same as the other side, you have a flip fire missile, because what is a set without its flip fire missile? It's really hard to get to because of the wheels, but maybe a smaller child's fingers could get to it. But it, if you were wanting to make it more accurate, you could just pull that off, and it would be much more accurate to the movie, because obviously, even S.H.I.E.L.D. does not have missiles on the side of their trucks. We got some pretty good wheels here and just some numbers and letters that make absolutely no sense. Here's on the back is the lever. I'll show you what that does in a second. And here's a you know a little detailing, some tiling if we take Loki off here. There's just one stud that holds them in and you'll see why in a second. And this side is the same as the other side, and then on the top you have some shield markings and some Headlight. red and white lights with those headlights as you said and the bottom is nothing special, just the bottom of a truck. And let's get on to the real only feature of the set is, say, Iron Man here is flying around and he's about to blast them with the and then Loki gets hit and you hit this red thing right here really hard, then he'll fly out. That kind of is a lame feature. If you ask me, I would rather just have a stable bed which I very well might just mod the set to make it a stable bed but it is a set that I think little kids will like because of the flip fire it has the flip fire missiles which 
I know little kids like those. Let me fix that. If uh, you okay, but as I was saying, the features would appeal to a younger kid, but I think the features are kind of lame for you know just an older kid or an adult who would probably take off the flick fire missiles. As you see, you could just switch that brick with the hole in it for a normal black brick, and it would look like a truck with no missiles, which is very more, much more accurate. And then the bed, this, I think Loki does fly out. Does Loki fly out of the truck in the scene? Um, no, he stays in. Yeah, 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 he doesn't fly out, but it is a nice feature for little kids. That was a, that was a much farther flick, but we'll just leave Loki off there. And then you obviously have Iron Man flying and... So, that is basically your review of this truck. It's a very nice truck for a um, $20 set that you would definitely get a lot of for the minifigures because the minifigures are really good and you're definitely going to want the Avengers minifigures. So, between this one and Captain America, you get three Avengers and three bad guys. So, that's a really good combo, which I that's the combo that I got. So, you'll see the review of Captain America out hopefully soon. And let's get on to the conclusion. And overall, in this set, I'm going to give it a 7.5, because I like the minifigures a lot. I like the price point. For 181 pieces, you get and for $20. And the set itself would be, is, you know, it's a good shield truck. It's got, I like the bulkiness around the wheels. It looks very off-roadish. And then the scene itself, not accurate to the movie, but... It's partly accurate with Loki getting driven by a uh, Hawkeye. by Hawkeye. Yeah. But there was also another guy in the truck, a scientist, which I would have liked to get him, but we didn't. And there's also a feature I forgot to mention. As you can see right here, they have Loki or uh, Hawkeye puts his bow here, which is also very inaccurate, but he sticks it up there and it fits. But Lego has to add some things to their set. So. uh... On the other side, there's put, there is a also a fire extinguisher that comes with it. It's just two pieces, and it fell off, so sad face for that. But it's just a handle piece and a cylinder piece, so they're both in red. So you can imagine what that looks like yeah. yourself. But here's the box. Nothing special on the front. You've seen the front. And then here's the back. shows the first feature. Left the battle scene, and then shows the feature of Iron Man's helmet. And there's there's the piece that's missing right there. See, nothing major. Then there's the over-exaggerated whoosh of Loki flying off, and then the flick fire missile. So, overall, as I said, I give the set a 7.5. I think this would be a good set. If you wanted to invest in a set, this would be a good place to start, because you get... It's a licensed set. It's only $20, and you get three minifigures, so... Uh, the only one... $20, I think you might want to go in the Star Wars direction... If you were th really thinking about investing and not opening the set at all, go with Desert Skiff because that is Star Wars is something that's going to stick around for a long time. Avengers, you know, it might die down, but the minifigures are still going to be very sought after. So this would be a pretty good set to invest your money in and just keep it away for a while and sell it on Brooklyn or eBay or something. So this has been the RG Lego Productions review of Loki's Cosmic Cube Escape. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And if you if you could, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button on my channel and also K4 Dude MC's channel. And check out Chris Production Studios. He's a very good mock maker. He's actually on vacation as we upload this, but he'll be back to making mocks when he gets back. And he subscribed to my channel, and so I wanted to give him a shout out in one of my videos for doing that. So. Check out his channel, check out K4DMC, and be sure to hit that little subscribe button. Come on, one click won't hurt.